Halloween everyone here I am drawing out my design for my Halloween costume and I'm going to be a yes modernized, modernized version of my fave sewing gal Sally from my favorite movie Nightmare Before Christmas well my favorite Halloween movie my favorite movie is Avatar so but yeah let's get going Woo! right now I'm going to go get some thread from Joann's because I need some black thread so let's go it's a me, Olivia. <laughs> Ray, you wanna come with me? Boop. Wanna go for a ride? Okay, let's go. Joanne, take my money. Huh, Ray? Here's my money, Miss Joanne. I got them cones. Um, and <laughs> I could not resist. Oh, they get me every time, every fall they get me, they get me. Oh baby, oh baby. It's how the mother away. Whoa. Oh, bitch. Oh baby. I got this sweater from a garage sale for a dollar. I got this from Walmart for two dollars. This at the thrift store for three dollars. And this dress at the thrift store for four dollars. Oh, this is the only fabric that I got for real. But I had it already for making my leaf pillow. So oh, check that video out. Oh, I know what I need now. I need to get a dress. But where is it? I can't find Ah Alright everyone, now that I got my dress, my thread, my fabric, and my drawing, I'm ready to go! But I actually realized this isn't the dress I need. I needed a different one that was a lot closer. Um, but anyways, then I just drew out the designs of how I want the fabric pieces as close to my drawing as possible. And then I just started cutting. Okay, so I just drew all this out and I was going to start cutting and placing pieces on here, but I realized I don't want a huge side seam, so I'm going to draw out the back and then try to like, do it like that, I guess. Yeah. All right, so I was a little bit of a dingbat or whatever they say um, when I drew the drawing because I didn't really make the pieces correspond from the front to the back. Oops, so I had to redesign the back and basically how I did that is measured where the pieces ended in the front and then flip that hole like a tortilla and then draw the pieces on the back and plan out all the different colors. So, I basically designed it twice. 
Ugh. Party! Halloween! Okay, now the next step is to just cut out all the little pieces. Um, I'm not really adding seam allowance for this because I feel like most of my pieces of stretch fabric are more stretchy than my dress, so I think it'll be fine. Um, so I literally am just cutting it out like a puzzle. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna finish this tomorrow. Well, frick, okay. I always say I'm gonna finish it, but I really am not. It's because a lot of times I'm not realistic. Holy shit, okay, I cannot talk right now. Good morning. Welcome. I'm gonna try to continue this on the table because I ain't cut out for this anymore. This part is actually simple, it's just time consuming, so I just cut out all the pieces making sure that the stretchiest part was going across my body. For the bottom pieces, I just left the bottom kind of like jagged and like all different lengths, and which I think looked really cool. I did the front, it's looking all right. Now I'm doing the back. So, the hard part is making it look like there's a good amount of all different colors in the right spot. Mental, mental gymnastics. Mental. Well, actually sewing is just a bunch of mental gymnastics. <laughs> Am I gonna get a gold medal? Oh. Welcome to Smooth Jazz with Olivia. Dang it. I can't tell you how many times I've crushed chalk like that. Um, so I waste a lot of chalk because I'm just very careless with where I put it and then it falls and then I step on it. Matcha, 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 me, mama, matcha, 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 matcha. I have all this ready to be sewn almost. And yesterday, I also got me a nice little package from Jeff Daddy Bezos. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Um. Anyways, I got some things to complete the look. So I got these striped socks and I also got because Sally's skin is like sickly green so I got one for my legs <laughs> and I got another in a smaller size for I was thinking maybe my arms like I would make like some cut off like maybe like gloves or something like that but I don't know for sure um now I'm gonna finish the dress oh oh My plan here is to make almost like a tank top and then add some sort of little sleeve onto that. So that's what I'm doing now. Okay, so I got the pieces of the puzzle. And my plan is to sew is to sew an overlock seam on the outside to give it kind of that modern-ish look. I think that's gonna look pretty dang cool. Uh, 
Okay. All right. Here is the dress. Okay. All right. Here is the dress. Okay. All right. Here is the dress. Come on now, say it. All right. Here is the dress. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now who's ready for a try on? Me. Hey, could you, you know... What's that? Oh, you don't have arms? Oh... Yeah, sorry about that. Alright, so first I started out with this rectangle shape and I was just going to make like a little frilly for the sleeves. And then I just gathered that together and put it on. Alright, so I'm down here trying this on. And I decided I want to have like a whole cap sleeve essentially. Instead of just like a dangly thing like that, like I was going to make. So I rounded out the edges that I cut on the sleeve. So I'm going to attach it all the way down here. Ooh, do you see that? Ugh. Okay, so now that I'm done piecing it all together, it is time to weather it and essentially make it look like it came from a Tim Burton movie. It's time to Burtonify it. <laughs> this is the Yesified Burtonified. It's like, no, it's already Burtonified. This is the Yesified version of Burton. But right now, we have to Burtonify it to make sure that it came from Burton. You know what I mean? Uh, what am I even saying? <laughs> okay, you guys want to know a funny story? So when I was in approximately third grade, the talent show was going on, right? In third grade, the talent show was a big deal. And I remember one day, I heard about the buzz of the talent show, and I came home from school, and I was, like, distraught. I came home, I was like, Mom, Dad, the talent show is coming up, and I don't have any talent. And they were like, Honey... Everyone has a talent. You just gotta find your talent. And after that little pep talk, my eyes became open to the world. I realized, you know what? I could do anything. And it just so happens at that time, my family was changing the trash out. And what I did, I grabbed that bag, gave it a mighty swoosh. And I was like, oh, you know what, Dad? I could be a professional trash bag opener mm, because I'm so good at it. I'll demonstrate it again for you. Mm. Eh? Okay, now I'm ready to paint this bad boy. Sorry. <laughs> I need some painting clothes because knowing me, I'm probably going to spill it. Just like I spilled my smoothie across the whole stairs that took me an hour to clean. So here we go! Woohoo! I should probably do a practice. So it's a good thing that I did practice tests on all the different pieces of fabric that I have because I had to use different consistencies of paint to get the desired result on each of my fabrics because some of these fabrics would literally just absorb all the paint that I offered and then others it would be so crusty that it could just not work on a dress. But anyways, I think I am now ready to do the damn thing. Not only did I paint the designs like the swirlies and the stripes and the spots on all the fabric pieces but I also wanted to give it like a weathered look so I put a light wash of paint water into the cracks or like the seams of the dress and I think it turned out pretty dang cool. For you that was four seconds, for me it was four hours. So I'm tired and I'll go to bed. And I'll actually finish tomorrow this time. I got a new leaf. Yes, I do. I got a new leaf. 
How about you? All right, I'm here this morning. Looks like this thing has dried overnight. Now all I gotta do is finish the designs. For the pink fabric, I decided to use Sharpie. Should I have used that from the beginning? Maybe, maybe not. Silver Sharpie. At this point, I was so I finished painting the dress, and now I had to do my skin. My skin seams. <laughs> Anyways, I made a little shirt out of the tights by cutting a hole in the crotch and cutting the toes part off. I got my skin on, and now what I'm gonna do is draw Sally's little seam marks. So I'm gonna look up a photo, and I'm just gonna draw that with Sharpie. Um, the skin underneath these tights, they're gonna have to get Sharpie because I'm too lazy to figure out um, something to not do that, so. And now I present the grand acrobatic circus that was making these tights. Okay, I think I have enough time to film an outro, but this is gonna be really hard because I have to do my makeup and I have no idea how to do, um, like, paint makeup. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm white. I don't even have, like, a beauty blender or anything. <laughs> Just slap Just it slap on. It on. <laughs> All right, so I was able to slap on the rest of my makeup and slap on my dress. So now it's ready for Halloween and the final reveal. Ooh, spooky. Oh, baby! Oh! And that scarecrow is named Carl. Don't ask me why we named it Carl, but we named it Carl years ago. We've had it in our family for over a decade. This pink fabric, <laughs> this pink fabric, granola shoes, bye. 
What's up, Carl? Oh, he's not looking so good. <laughs> oh, baby. I still don't know my name. What? Oh, dude, that sounded like... <laughs> don't look at my neck. Oh, my legs. Wait, how do you make the sound flies make? Bzzz. Thank you.